Hello, I hate horses. I'm not going to try and rationalise that statement. I just do. I just don't think horses are very good. I don't like their big horsey faces, and I don't understand why humans allow themselves to become horsey people. I just think they're a bit rubbish, and I'd like to say right now I am absolutely not making this video solely to wind up Chris because he likes horses. Definitely not. Video game horses? Now they're alright. Some of them. In fact, I've kind of used horses as a personal little yardstick for game development for years now, generally by attacking them to see whether it's possible, the same way I instantly want to know if I can make a video game car drift. It gives me a sense of how many of the finer details got fleshed out during development. So in the spirit of equine admiration, and definitely not to wind Chris up, here are some times video game horses have been alright, and times when they've been pants, like real horses. To look at the first time I really remember being cruel to a horse as a way to test the boundaries of a game, we need to go all the way back to 1998. Epona in The Legend of Zelda The Ocarina of Time is probably the most important video game horse ever, so let's ignore the fact she'd probably be getting on a bit now if she were a real horse and pretend we wouldn't be thinking about sending her to the knacker's yard or, you know, Tesco. I remember riding a pona around Hyrule Field one time when I was younger when I decided to loose an arrow into the back of her head just to see what would happen. It didn't hurt her as far as I could tell, but she did let out an anguished neigh, which in my prepubescent state I found mildly amusing. Sorry Epona, thanks for keeping me safe from all those cucko attacks. Yeah. Fast forward 12 years to Red Dead Redemption when I first got on my horse and curiosity got the better of me. I could certainly aim my gun at the back of the horse's head, but if I pulled the trigger, would it? Yes, oh Christ, yes it will, that horse is very dead now. Weirdly, it was at that moment I first cottoned onto the idea Red Dead Redemption might be something a little bit special, because one of those finer details I'd always looked for had just been ticked off in a fairly spectacular way. It was also the first time I was aware I was probably on some kind of list. Other video game horses aren't quite so entertaining or even remotely useful. I'm the original parte animal. Hudson Hostachio from Viva Pinata, for instance, is the most arrogant video game character you'd ever hope to meet, absolutely obsessed with his own celebrity just because he's full of sweets instead of internal organs. Sod off, Hudson, you're a pinata, and everyone knows it. One hard rain and you're dead. The mechanical horses in Bioshock, meanwhile, were beautiful. They were also totally pointless. The appeal of the exquisite design wore off sharply once it became clear they were simple set dressing, which, for such a well-executed concept, was pretty disappointing. That said, obviously, it's probably for the best. If there were functioning horses in Bioshock Infinite, I'd probably have ignored all the Comstock business and spent all my time firing crows at them. So I guess I should be grateful Infinite's horses were so boring. They were also impervious to damage, something I took similar umbrage with in Assassin's Creed. Horses feature in a number of the early Assassin's Creed games as a necessary evil. Altair needed one to trot about between Masyaf and the game's three main cities, and Ezio used his to gallivant across Rome. As horses go, they were alright actually, apart from the fact they were made of some weird kind of horse rubber. You could trip horses up by smashing them across the chest with a sword, sure, but that would only serve to throw their rider, at which point they'd just get up and start horsing around like usual. Very disappointing, especially coming from a series that delights in letting you kill all sorts of animals, including whales. What's so special about horses? Nothing, Chris Bratt. Nothing. Nothing is true, everything is permitted. Not horse murder, apparently. Thanks, Ezio. Just one more to go in this tenuous list of equine affrontery, and to be honest, I'm not sure if Skyrim's horses really count as horses so much as all-terrain vehicles. Steal, hire, or purchase a horse in Skyrim, and you can pretty much go vertically up a mountain to your heart's content. Beware the dangers on the path to High Hrothgar. Whatever. Come on, boy, we'll nip up this sheer cliff face and be there in no time at all. They can at least die, so that's something, even if they are effectively the Stannis stairlift of Tamriel. So there you have it, video game horses, at points better than actual horses, frequently just as disappointing as the real thing. I better be off now, I imagine HR will want a word. <laughs>